Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about how astrology and dream work connect, how astrology impacts our dreams and why it matters. So as you know, if you're following me or know anything about my business, I'm a dream interpreter and I help people understand the hidden messages in their dreams so that they can do something about it in a process that I call dream healing, can heal from these messages. And the moon has such a strong influence in our dreams, in our emotions. It's all about our um, subconscious, our inner emotions, thoughts, feelings, um, all of those things deep down within us that, you know, uh, that the inner depths of ourselves and our dreams highlight our subconscious. They're messages from our subconscious that are trying to let us know when something is affecting us, problems we're having. Everything in our dreams is meant for some type of healing. We just don't always listen. So when we're sleeping, usually the moon is out and it is um, highlighting all of these deep-seated wounds or traumas or just stresses that you're going through in your everyday life. But now that we know that the moon every few days travels through a different sign it adds that extra flavor and it highlights a different area in your chart along with the other influences of what's mercury doing how's venus affecting a, a certain area mars and all of that it affects us on our everyday life and while we're dreaming the deep-seated things that we should be working on get highlighted through these dream symbols so Astrology can help us not only understand us during our waking life, but also understand certain areas that are being highlighted in our dreams, especially if you're having reoccurring dreams during a certain period astrologically. Um, maybe you don't even know. I wonder how many of you, let me know in the comments, look at your chart and then add that to your dream journal or if you even have a dream journal. So I'm really passionate about dream work and helping people understand their unique message because I mean you can you can google dream interpretations you can grab books you could even book a session with me I help people understand their dreams but it is so empowering and what my main mission is is to help you understand and have that deep connection with your own dreams with your subconscious mind because all I could do is guide you to getting those answers but at the end of the day your dreams are your unique subconscious language with yourself and creating that bond and that connection is so beautiful and so much can come out of it um when you start understanding your dreams you can you things do come up in the surface of uh, things that may have been suppressed and have been keeping you stuck for a while. So I'm bringing them up to the surface. You can work with them. And that is one of the things that I teach and why I cover so many different topics because they all tie into dream work in some kind of way. And this is how astrology ties in. So it's, I find it very interesting if you start keeping a dream journal, which is the very first step if you wanna do any dream work related stuff, or if you don't even remember your dreams, starting a dream journal even if you write down i didn't remember anything today you know try again tomorrow all of that helps rewire your brain into knowing that it's important for you to remember your dreams so what i like to do and what i tell my my dream healing members is that when you start a dream journal you do want to date it um but what we're going to start adding in is the astrology how is the moon what sign is the moon in and what house is it highlighting for you specifically now that's different for everyone so when you start just adding that little those little symbols to your dream journal and then you can start seeing the pattern and and after some time see the overall puzzle pieces combining together to see what kind of dreams were you having when the moon was in a certain sign or in a certain area or maybe connected to your wounded healer which is chiron and that's a uh, that's a specific marker in your chart. I don't think we went into that, but that's a whole nother topic. So there is so much more that you can explore in your dreams and astrology and combining the two together would be so much more powerful and it will create such beautiful healing for all who are interested in learning about that. So with that being said, I am excited to announce my upcoming course that's going to be added to my Dream Healing membership and it's all going to be about astrology, really getting into the in-depth about 
all the 12 planets, all the 12 signs and the 12 houses and combining them in a way where we can add that to our dream work and create that deeper understanding. And this course is called Cosmic Dreams. So it's in the making right now. My dream healing members get a huge discount off of this because it'll be added to our monthly membership subscription site. Um, and we're going to be diving into it together. You'll also have access to my Drift to Dreamland crash course um, and full course as well to help you sleep better and start understanding um, your dreams, interpreting them, and also my dream healing course. So everything is in my dream healing membership. Um, you can sign up at thedreamingyogi.org forward slash community, and you'll have two options, either just the community site, which doesn't include the dream courses. Um, it just includes like a crash course. And the second one, which is the one that includes both, is the Dream Healing Membership. So if you want to check that out, I would love to have you. And we start from the basics there. We start getting you to sleep better, and then we move into getting you to remember your dreams through different holistic tools and practices, and then understanding your dreams. And it's all a, um, a really aligned path. And then we can get into more in-depth with the cosmic dreams, astrology and all the extra dream alchemy stuff so um, I would love to have you there we have two group calls each month um, I also do readings in there to help deepen your um, subconscious messages so if you want more information on that just leave a comment or message me and you can check out everything that's included as well as testimonials from my current members in there at the dreamingyogi.org forward slash community so I hope you enjoyed this a mini astrology series. So excited to go more into depth with that um, and with you all in the membership. Um, more videos will come as we go along and as moon, uh, full and new moons uh, happen. I will be sharing more on this page and on this channel. So if you enjoyed any of these videos, please share them out. Leave a like, leave a comment. Um, and if you haven't seen the rest of the series, there's a little playlist on my channel and on my page that you can just go and check them out. All right. I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.